please tell us your name and where you're from. Um, my name is Chelsea and I'm from Richland, Washington. Chelsea, can you please share your uh, healing testimony with us? Um, so it was actually this last Wednesday and we were praying for healing at the end of every service like we always do. And I've been sick for a couple months, so I got over that. And when it came time to pray, I was like, well, I'm not sick. Like, what can I pray for? You know, like, God, you've already helped me get better. What more do I need? And so the Holy Spirit brought up to me the back problems that I've been having, um, which were pretty severe. And I just, I mean, I started praying about it. And I felt the warmth of the Holy Spirit come on me and begin to... Give me a second. So uh, you had the back problems. For how long do you, did you have those problems? Um, pretty much since I was in high school, um, like my whole life since I started growing up. I know you mentioned to me earlier that this issue runs in your family. Can you elaborate on that, please? Um, yeah, so my whole family has back problems. My grandma had to have surgery on her back a few times, and my mom has back problems. So it's something that I knew I was going to have to deal with at some point. Okay, and so w w how did that affect your everyday life? Um, so I would be in so much pain when I came home from work that I would just lie down on the floor. My mom would have to pop my back and I was, you know, crying to her and telling her, you know, I need to go to the doctor. I need to figure out what's going on and get some help because it was so severe. And where have you been in search of, for solution from this problem? Um, just, you know, taking pain medicine over the counter, trying to stretch, trying to, you know, work out my muscles, like anything that I could think of to try and make this pain go away. And how did you receive your healing? Um, it was just when we were all praying and I began to pray over my back and just felt that the Holy Spirit was moving and he was healing me. How do you feel right now? I feel good. <laughs> so it's been three days, and uh, did the pain come back? Um, there was one point at work where I, I have to sit down on the floor a lot, and that used to hurt my back all the time. And I started to feel like a little bit of pain. And out loud, I actually said, you know, I come against every lie of the enemy that says that I'm having this pain right now because I know that I'm healed. And it was immediate that the pain went away. So oh, Let's put our hands together for Jesus. We thank God for this amazing healing. Uh, I know that you mentioned you had a second miracle happen the same day on Wednesday night. Can you please share with us? Um, yeah, so ever since I rededicated my life, I've been wanting to speak in tongues, you know, like praying about it and just talking to my mentor, you know, like, what do I do to speak in tongues? Like, how can I do it? It was during um, prayer and... Um, Naz's fiance, I don't remember her name, <laughs> Vera, she started manifesting and we were all praying for her. And um, I was like, well, I don't know what to pray, you know, like God help me to pray. And he's like, just open your mouth, just start speaking. And I was praying in tongues. I wasn't speaking in English, so. You know, the Bible says that the Holy Spirit intercedes through us. And this is when it happens. When we don't know what to pray about, the Holy Spirit is there to pray through us. Amen. Amen. Chelsea, we thank you so much for sharing these amazing testimonies and encouraging people. Would you please share a word of advice for somebody who might be struggling with the back pain or for somebody who desires to receive that gift in speaking in tongues? Um, I would just say don't give up. You know, just keep praying, keep seeking God, keep um, asking for your healing, claim your healing, and God is going to give you breakthrough. You know, you just have to keep praying. Amen, amen. Thank you so much. Let's clap our hands for Jesus Christ one more time. Thank you, Chelsea.